I am sticking to my same Bitcoin trading plan. That is long on Bitcoin, locally bullish, looking for higher prices to come and not shorting Bitcoin at these levels. Inside of this video, I'm going to be telling you the exact targets that I have above us, the reasons why I am not shorting here, and I believe higher prices will come, and everything else that you need to know to absolutely crush the charts and make some wonderful profits alongside us right now. So if that sounds good to you, you know what to do. Pay full attention into this video. I'll be sharing with you some lovely insights and knowledge of how I am viewing these charts right now. So yeah, let's get into it, right? So I'm going to be summarizing very quickly the past, you know, 48 hours of price action since my last YouTube video when we hit that NPOC. I'm going to go over that very quickly, moving on to what's happening now and why I am still looking for higher prices to come. Okay, so yeah, let's go. Uh, of course, that last video, I was looking at that NPOC and I was making it very clear. I am bullish uh, for us to come up and tap the NPOC. I was saying, I really don't believe we're going to front run. really don't believe we're going to miss that target. And of course, as you all know by now, we did come up and we hit that target. I wanted to get it on live for the YouTube video, but it took a little bit too long, right? But as always, I will update my members of the champions first, as always. And I updated them as soon as we uh, hit that NPOC, which was hit. And uh, I made it very clear I am not shorting the level. I didn't want to see any front run as soon as we hit that level. You know, we got a bit of a reaction, but for me, it wasn't anything bearish in the order flow. There was no reason for me to execute that short trade. And I made it clear, you know, I'm not shorting that level. I then go on. I'll, I'll walk you through the messages. Of course, I always post this as well over on Twitter. There's, of course, you have to remember a bit of a delay with the Twitter posts, even with these YouTube posts than what you get in the group. And that's the, you know, the advantage of having the champions membership for the real time updates. But yeah, you can see uh, making it clear to you all that, uh, you know, my, my decision is clear. I'm not shorting around these levels, even the next day onwards, you know, still not shorting. No, no short trade for me here. Still looking for the daily, you know, giving my reasons, you know, very clearly laid out of why I'm not shorting. There's no actionable trade entry. There's no bearish order flow, no bearish reaction. We're still making the higher highs. You know, for me, it's a simple case of, you know, I've made my plan. I'm now trading my plan along with being able to update my bias if required, reading the order flow. But as it stands for me, I remain the same thought process. This order flow really is not bearish. There's nothing for me to be thinking we're not going to come up to my higher targets. You know, as a trader, I recognize it's, of course, possible that I miss my higher target. And that's where I'll get a heads up first in the order flow. But I've seen nothing bearish in the order flow for me to believe that I'm actually going to be missing these targets. So I remain sticking with my same trading plan. That is long, that is locally bullish, and that is expecting higher prices to come and not taking short trades at these levels. Okay. As we can see, fast forward 24 hours, you know, to yesterday again, then I'm still in those short trades. So um, even with the ES pulling back like it was, still took no short on Bitcoin. And uh, yeah, remaining locally bullish and expecting higher. So let me now explain uh, what exactly I'm looking for next. OK, I mean, actually, just let me approach this bit of a pullback that we've had over the past, you know, 48 hours or so. Right. That here at the NPOC, we obviously saw this, you know, uh, pullback from the NPOC zone. And, you know, you can, <laughs> you already know, right? As soon as we saw that pullback, uh, you know, you have people coming in at my comments saying, ha, ah, you missed the short trade, uh, you know, X, Y, and Z, you know, trying to, trying to bring me down. But, you know, you have to remember, I'm following my trading plan. My trading plan is higher prices. My trading plan was, there was no executable short trade for me. I didn't take that short. And, you know, I would have held my hands up high and uh, same as I would now. If we get a full reversal here, not just a pullback into support for a long opportunity. If we get a full reversal here, then I will just as I would would uh, from my, you know, my targets and outlook today. You know, I'm expecting higher. I've got higher prices. I'm not short in here. So if we, you know, if I'm incorrect and we fall down totally from here, and I miss my targets, I am incorrect. I, I will make a video for you explaining, you know, what did I miss in this order flow? How was I wrong? Okay, just as I would have if we had seen the full-blown reversal from here and we had not come on to make a new highs 12 hours later. You know, I'm happy to admit when I'm wrong because everybody can be wrong in this market, right? It is a game of probabilities. Nobody wins 100% of the time. Of course, I have a very nice win rate, 
and uh, you know I, I'm, I'm interested in and I want to make a video uh, when I'm when I'm wrong and so if I am wrong on this analysis uh, we do not come up and hit my higher targets which I'm going to explain to you very shortly uh, I will happily make a video saying hey I was wrong I made an incorrect call I'm very sorry because I know a lot of people are following along on my analysis um, so yeah I, I, I will do that for you if I make that incorrect decision but as it stands there's nothing bearish for me in the order flow I've been now three days in a row actually no even before this right for the past nearly two weeks I've been very bullish ever since we formed that NPOC swing failure pattern all the way back on the 11th of September now so you know almost 10 days uh, you know being bullish looking for higher prices and that still remains the same for me as always it's a level to level game environment the way that I do my trading is we come up to a level I have my alerts go you can see I've got little, lots of alerts here I have wait for my alerts to go off I then check the reaction okay check the order flow make an informed decision I will either take a short entry at my next level or there is no bearish reaction there is no entry trigger for the short and I will remain looking for even higher prices and the next levels above us right so <clears throat> that's the way that I trade and it's you know the way that I've found success in this market um, you know even when we think about the Bitcoin market here if you take a look at the stock market this also has a uh, totally respected technical analysis so it's like this was a post I was saying about yesterday if we see acceptance into the gap on the ES then we should see a full gap fill and just look at this on the ES there's the gap here there's the acceptance into the gap we start to see the move down there's the absolute perfect gap fill there's the absolute perfect reaction this is on a four hour chart view if you look down here on a five minute chart view look at that come down acceptance into the gap fill the gap there to the dollar bounce off of the gap fill so whether we're talking about cryptocurrency whether we're talking about forex whether we're talking about crypt <laughs> the stock market you know all these markets are run by technical analysis right so perfect gap fill leading to the bounce people will believe news or real world events cause the market to move but it is all in the charts show me the chart and I will tell you the news so I wouldn't be surprised to see some bullish news on Bitcoin because the charts are bullish the charts are showing me higher yeah show me the charts I'll tell you the news I don't care if there's a bullish news coming out why because I'm already long I'm already looking for higher show me the charts I'll tell you the news ladies and gentlemen I hope that you've enjoyed this video I will summarize one final time so it's very clear indeed I am bullish I am not shorting here I had not shorted the NPOC this swing failure pattern neither this swing failure pattern I remain looking for higher prices I have given you my reasons for looking higher basically that is to summarize there have been no bearish entry triggers or bearish reaction or bearish order flow for me to take a short my target and trade plan is we are moving higher okay this swing failure pattern obviously refers to the high there on the 31st of August I'm happy to take you know a short if we get there and a bearish reaction to that daily these are my levels of interest okay um I'm not going to be taking a short before that okay I'm not in a short now I've not taken a short for the past 10 days um, I'm really trying to make my analysis simple easy to understand you know I'm you know it's, it's hard to get confused when I'm making things very clear okay I'm listing my reasons and I'm just making very clear statements okay I don't I know we obviously have some very expert and, and good traders that follow um, you know follow along these YouTube videos that are in the group but we also have some newer traders as well so um, I'm trying to just make it very easy to understand clear you know I'm looking for higher I'm not shorting yet I've explained my reasons I don't want someone to come in here and you know let's say we rise to my target and then we fall and I, I then make my next video saying you know I'm, I'm bearish now I've taken a short trade uh, and then someone comment hey in your last video you were bullish yeah that is right I am bullish now I'm not short and I'm looking for higher but if we rise to my target get a bearish reaction well then I'll take a short trade right I trade the charts level to level but as it stands you now understand my bullish bias the reasons why why I'm not shorting here uh, why I'm looking for higher and I will tell you this if you want to see uh, my understandings in real time if you want these trade updates before anybody else okay so it's always first to the champion members well, then you can get those trade updates via chartchampions.com champions membership uh, that's where you get access to the champions discord that's where you get access you know to the um, courses we got the whole educational course okay of course on top of that we've also got the live trading streams dedicated altcoin streams AMAs trade recaps roundtables you know everything that you need to become uh, a very successful profitable trader alongside us so yeah we're here to help 
We're here to, you know, give you ideas. Let me just say this. We, I, I'm obviously here to give you ideas, um, you know, show you the levels, let you understand my bias. But I want to get you to a level where able, you're able to do this all self-sufficiently on your own. OK, so that's my target as, you know, a mentor that's teaching you. I want to get you to a level where you're reading the charts, trading and you're not, you know, reliant on anyone else. You're able to come in here, analyze the market, take trades, you know, make profits all on your own based off of what you've learned from us. So that's my goal. I hope I can get you there. I uh, hope that you succeed and, you know, we're able to just continue to crush this market and, you know, enjoy it. This is the beauty of trading. We're here to enjoy it and, you know, you enjoy it genuinely when you're you're making profits. So, uh, you know, let's continue to make these profits. Let's continue to look higher. Hope you've all understood why. Again, if you want more, you can get it all via chartchampions.com. Myself and the other coaches here is the beautiful Eagle, <laughs> a very popular coach. <laughs> Thank you ever so much, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed and I will catch you over in the discords or uh, the Champions membership. Cheers. Thank you. And goodbye.